Well, we made it down to the boat on this bright, sunny day. Well, that's what the weather man said anyway. He said apparently it's going to be bright and sunny, but apparently now, in a few hours, it's going to absolutely pour with rains. <laughs> so we're going to try and get as much as we can done today, and then we'll be back again tomorrow because it's supposed to clear again. And uh, yeah, so you can see we've got quite a bit to do. We've got to get this thing polished off for the start. It's so uh, unpolished. We'll change this colour. We're going to put the old one off the older boat for now. See if it fits because it's got nice bend because it's been on the on there for a long time so which way are you going i'm going that way my head to hell <laughs> so yeah um yeah we're going to put the old one on because it's got a bend it's naturally been bent for years around that boat so we'll just see if it'll go on this for now and um what else we got to do oh the anti fail you're going to be anti fouling it yeah having a go at it and I'm going to change the electric switches in there. And there's a multitude of other things I'm going to do. So we've got the camera rolling for now and uh, uh, we'll see how we get on. Right, let's get this pipe off to start with just to see if that one, this will come up quite easy. The trouble we had with this pipe is we put this one on, but it's thinner and so it cracked. Whereas the other ones, I've had them on all my old boats for years and years with no problems, but this one, not so good. Too thin. Those all modern stuff, no quality left in it. Yeah, you see, this is this is an old one. You see how hard this one is. This one's really is thicker, whereas this one isn't. I mean, there's not a huge difference in it, but you feel it when you when you pull it apart. Mm, it's only a mil difference, but it makes all the difference. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, but I don't think I can cut it all the way with that tool. Hold it now. Hold it. Okay, ready? There we go. <coughs> That's going to be the issue there. It might not be because the ropes are never coming this way, are they? Yeah, something like that. Well, we'll work that out later. We'll get the block for it later, but for the moment, we need to work out where we're going to push it. So, this needs to go under. It'd be ideal if we could get it to the yeah, holes. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that now. Get it underneath there. So, so, it needs notching out then to start. So, it's yeah. got to go about there at least. And it needs notching here to get it past here. So, if you see a pair of legs under there, that's Rebecca. She's uh, anti fouling underneath at the moment. You can see there the seat needs sorting out. Looks a bit dried up. This floor mat's the one that's coming out. New one's going. You can see it's cracking, but that's rubber. It's been in there now for is it two seasons? So they don't last forever, but it makes a hell of a difference when you're out there. It's totally non-slip, and when you put pots down, if they bang down, they take they cushion quite well, being that they're on the rubber mat. Apart from that, it needs a very good clean up. Bit of painting here and there maybe on the inside on the gutties and on the back there you can see it's flaking a bit so we'll get that done and the canopy will be coming off tomorrow or the next day whenever it's nice because we're gonna you can see here it's all wearing out so we're gonna we've bought some new of this material vinyl whatever it is and we're gonna be stitching in a new piece just on this section here what it is it's where the seagulls sit they do so much damage. But the rest of it will be fine. We'll lose it for this year. We'll look at maybe next year or whenever. Maybe sort a new one out for it. But for now, it'll do. We only fold it up when we go out anyway. It's, it's there in case we need it. If it rains or anything, it's nice to have it. It also protects the cut front cuddy from getting water going into it. Even though you've got a door bit there, the water can still seep in. So... Having that there just keeps everything nice and dry in the front, plus the electrics, which are at the front as well. And the winch, keeps the winch from getting rained on all the time. Even though it won't out much, because it's always got salt water on it. Right, well we're working on the um, boat again. We've got the gunnels done by putting on the old pipe from the old boat. I should have gone and got another one, but this will do for now, it's lasted long enough, we know it works. And we've still got to take the cover off, we're doing that today to get that changed. So Rebecca at the moment is trying to polish 
up the side and get rid of all this sort of scratching that you see, this fine scratching. The boat's been anti-failed because it'll be going down very soon. And right at the moment, I'm actually working on the electrics. Now, this electrics here is what's left of the electric box. And literally, it just fell apart. This is what happens when you buy garbage these days. It's two years old. There's no corrosion on it, anything like that. But you can see the plastic is literally just... I mean, literally, the plastic is just shattering. So, I don't know what that's all about. Biodegradable plastic? I don't know. But the whole thing is just garbage. We're down to one switch on that. So I've had to buy another one from a different place, a different, slightly different. But I had to try and keep it the same, the uh, panel, because of the hole. So we got this one, which hopefully lasts longer than that one. But I don't rate my chances, to be honest. But if it lasts a couple of years, well, it'll last a couple of years. Right, we're back home at the moment, and we are trying to work this out. This is the canopy for the boat, and as you can see, probably there, maybe, possibly, it's had it, it's all, you know, the lining's coming off of it. So we bought this, and we're going to be putting that on there, and sewing it on, and gluing it on. That's the plan. It's not going to look amazing. Well, it might do, but I'm not expecting too much from it. And we're going to be using a heavy duty adhesive spray, which is this stuff. Now I've just tested a few different glues and this is like a contact adhesive. So you spray it one side, you spray it the other way, just one side and you just press it down. And then it's like a, it's like Evo stick if anybody knows what Evo stick is. So it sort of maintains a sort of rubberiness about it. So when this flexes around, it will um, hopefully not crack, break apart. And all we're gonna do literally is put it on there contact spray it and then sew this but at the moment we're just doing the cutting for it and this is only a temporary thing it's, it's because just to stop the water leaking through on the cabin on the top part and like I say we don't really use the cover that much very rarely but it's there if we need it and obviously when the boat is moored up we pull it up and it just helps a little bit from rain and spray getting into the boat when there's bad weather that kind of thing right we better get on with it right well Rebecca has tacked along the front a couple of tacks we're now gonna well we sprayed the the evo stick kind of thing on there or the spray adhesive and we've pushed up underneath we've put uh, some boxes and some old cloths and that to get the shape round and then we're gonna once it's dried you gotta let this glue dry off a bit till it's not tacky anymore and then you push it together and it will bond and we're gonna work our way from the bottom up and get it so we get the right gluing down effect and then it will be sewed after that and then the sides will will do because they've got to be cut as well. So now it's been stuck down. Rebecca's stitching the edges in certain areas, so it obviously stays down. And the piece of wood on top there, that's actually going to be the uh, what do they call them again? Symbols. Yeah, it's easier sometimes with a bit of wood than it's trying to use a thimble because the symbols fall off your fingers and they don't fit your fingers and all that kind of thing. So. Yeah, we just push it through the bit of wood because it's quite tough getting it through. And then we'll have to trim it up around the edges, glue the sides down, rinse and repeat, and then it'll be good to go. And that'll be the temporary fix for this year. And we'll see how we get on with it. See if it lasts longer than five minutes. <laughs> Hope so. Yeah. Right, there it is. The cover, it's almost finished. It's in the office at the moment because it's absolutely chucking it down with rain outside and blowing a gale. So we couldn't work out there and the uh, other sheds are a bit crammed with things. And it was a lot of sewing that Rebecca's had to do on it. But it's came out a lot better than I was expecting. It's pretty much a professional job, that is. Anyway, we'll show you this when it's on the boat, when it's properly stretched out and on the boat. Like I say, it's a little bit awkward at the moment being in here. But it's nice to be able to work on it in here. That's the... Uh, best thing about it. So there you go, the cover's pretty much done. And it was Rebecca who's actually sewed all that. Um, I mean, I cut some of the stuff and glued it, but she did all the sewing and it's impressive. I mean, it came out far better than I expected. I knew it'd be okay, but I didn't expect it to look literally like professional job, but it is. And that'll hopefully keep us going. As long as the material's not uh, is good quality, then it should go for a while, that cover. I mean, the longest thing I've ever stitched was a, a rug bag I had to put together quickly when I was up in Sweden. 
traveling up in the wilderness and I needed to get all the rods together. So I ended up stitching a bag out of an old pair of jeans to carry all these rods or to carry a handful of rods in to get them through, like I say, up through the wilderness and that. And uh, yeah, by the time I'd stitched that, I was, I was finished. I mean, it's not my thing. I mean, I, I can stitch things, but it's just, oh, I get so bored after about two minutes. <laughs> but anyway, she didn't mind doing it and she said she wanted to do it. So um, yeah, she did a great job. Anyway, today's video has been a bit of a short one and it hasn't had any fish in it or no fishing in it. But that's because we are just so busy at the moment trying to get everything done. Uh, the weather's taken a bit of a turn again, so it's not very nice. So that's why we're in the sheds and inside. And I've been doing a lot of editing. I've, I've got to get this video out for Sunday. So that's, um, yeah, deadline Sunday. So I have to get that finished. So I've been on that all day. And while I was on that, we had bits and pieces that I filmed during the week of the renovations of the boat the things we're doing on the boat to get it ready so i thought i'd throw together some of the footage and uh yeah that's what you've just seen today so anyway i hope you're all keeping well and uh we'll see you on the next video